case, we got some news for the New York Mets. They have acquired Kevin Pillar for a one-year deal. Um, he is coming. He's coming off a relatively decent 2020 season. He batted 308 with two homers and 13 ribbies in 24 games with uh with the Rockies. He started off that season with the Red Sox, um, but he ended up getting traded at the deadline. Um, it's just pointless. But um, um, obviously a lot of people remember him from the Blue Jays. The very very fantastic outfield. I think this is a very great addition to the Mets. Um, he started off his career with the Blue Jays in the 32nd round of 2011 draft. Um, and then he went off to the Giants from there, and then he got signed to Boston last year, exactly last year, actually. Um, and then he um, got traded off with the trade deadline to the Rockies, and then now he's with the Mets. So, Mario, you go first, man. Uh, yeah, by the way, this was reported by uh, Jeff Passan. So, you go first, Mario. Yeah, well, first, congratulations to the New York Mets on signing Kevin Pillar, and congratulations to Kevin Pillar on joining the New York Mets. Obviously, we're talking about, we always talk about the New York Mets. Uh, this year, we always talked about them being a contending team because they're going out there and they're being aggressive and they're getting players. Um, and Kevin Pillar is just another player too that look, I'm gonna be honest with you. You look at um, in 2020 uh, for the Red Sox, he had a 274 uh, average, and then for the Rockies, he had a 308. I think Kevin Pillar still has some good baseball left in him, and I think this is a good signing by the New York Mets. It's not just like we. It's not just like oh, he's a veteran, so we can help young guys. I think there's actually like, you know, I think he still has very good play in baseball. Obviously, he's a great fielder, great fielder. Um, you know, I wish the Red Sox would have kept him because I felt like that that was a guy that they needed to keep right there, Kevin Pillar. And obviously they got rid of him, sent him to the Rockies, and he had a better season with the Rock uh with the Rockies or a better rest of the season with the Rockies than he did with the Red Sox. But the New York Mets really do got a great player in Kevin Pillar. They really do got a great player in Kevin Pillar. Now the question is, will he go back to his uh, Toronto days where he was just, you know, being an absolute stud? Well, I don't know. We're going to have to find that out this year. I personally, in my opinion, though, I think he will. I think Kevin Pillar, again, I'm going to say it one more time, he still has some very good baseball left in him. Hell, I'm sorry, they're saying a stretch. If he can, like, you know, get on a run and get on some streaks, I think he could be an all-star this year. I truly believe that if you use him the right way. Look, Kevin Pillar, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, Nick, he's being undervalued. He's being undervalued. I really, okay, he had great seasons with Toronto. He spent a good seven seasons with Toronto, spent one good, uh, good season with San Francisco. He even had a, he had a good season in San Francisco, you know, so it proves that he's went from team to team and still can be able to produce those numbers. He had a, he had a good season in Boston and in, in, with the uh, Boston Red Sox and the Colorado Rockies. So nothing here is showing me that Kevin Pillar is declining. You know what I'm saying? Nothing here is showing me he's declining. He's still keeping the same stats. You know, he had a short season in 2020, so, like, we can't really say nothing about that. But, yeah, like, nothing here – like, let's be real, Nate. Nothing here shows me that he is having – that he's on, on a decline. Besides maybe – I want to say maybe the – going from 37 – um not 37, excuse me, going from 21 homers to six. You know what I'm saying? Besides, besides like the home run total that going from 21 to six that he did when he uh, left Toronto and went to San Francisco, he had 21 home runs in Toronto had only six in San Francisco. Other than that, nothing's really shown me any type of decline. Maybe there's a little bit there with the power, but other than that, his fielding is still a one. His um, him as a baseball player, he's still producing the same average. So what's there to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think the Mets got a steal here. I really do think they got a steal. So with that being said, I'm going to end it with congratulations to the New York Mets and congratulations to Kevin Pillar on joining the New York Mets. And I wish them the best of luck. And I'm curious to see how they're going to turn out. Right. And I'll pick up from there. Congratulations to Kevin Pillar and the New York Mets. I'm looking at this lineup, dude. I got to be honest. This is an underdog team. This is really, Kevin Pillar joins Francisco Lindor, James McCann, right? Michael Conforto, uh, Brandon Nimmo, Jonathan VR, Alvar Almora. I got to be honest, this is an underdog team. This is a team that a lot of people seem to not look at. It's a dark I horse. think this could be a really good competitor to the, to the Atlanta Braves and maybe even the Washington Nationals. They're on a pretty big come up, too. Um, and they got a good pitching staff, too. Also, I, I don't think I mentioned Pete Alonso, did I? No. Oh, well, you, you forget about Pete Alonso, man. Smack me in the head. I forgot about Pete Alonso. You care? We can't forget about my man Polar Peak. It, it's just underrated. And you got a good pitching staff. Noah Syndergaard, Jacob DeGrom, Marcus Stroman, uh, Carlos Carrasco. I, I gotta be honest, dude. This team, this team is underrated. 
Then you got the bullpen. Let me go to the bullpen and tell him if the chance is Edwin Diaz. What do you need me to say, Jim? I'm gonna I'm gonna say this right now, all right? Kevin Pilar is a great addition, especially for the outfield. That outfield talent of his is absolutely incredible. And one guy I think that they should look for, especially for another outfielder, if they want to, I'm not sure if they will. I mean, if they want to go get Jackie Bradley Jr., just up that outfield talent even more, go ball out and get him. But I don't think they will because his bat isn't really, you know, all that well compared to his fielding ability. I'll say this about the New York Mets, man. If they don't make the playoffs, I think this is going to be the most disappointing team in, in recent memory if they don't make the playoffs with this team. I'm not saying win the World Series because obviously you got teams like the Padres and the Dodgers and still the Braves, top three teams in the NL right now. You know, they're they're pushing for another World Series. They're, you know, the Dodgers have to defend their title. The, the Padres just made all these crazy moves in the offseason, and the Braves are still the, are still the Braves. They made a couple of moves. They don't really need to get anybody, but they made a couple of moves just to strengthen that defense and offense and pitching up even more. So, obviously, I'm not asking them to go to the World Series, but what I am asking is show show some improvement. You know, like, you, you've had this same team for quite a while now, maybe a couple of years now, and – I'm going to be honest, they should have made the playoffs the last couple of years, but they haven't. And I I got to be honest with you, you got a team like this and you're not making the playoffs, I think someone in the blame has to go on the coach at that point. Because you got all these guys that I and all these guys that I mentioned before, and, and, you know, that team should be playoff contenders. So, I mean, a lot of that goes on the coaching. I'm not, I, I can't remember if they got a new um manager or not. I can't, I can't remember, but. With that said, I'm gonna be honest. This is this is a very underrated team. I think they can go somewhere with this. Definitely go to the playoffs, World Series. I mean, you could make a case for the World Series, but like I said, Braves, Padres, Dodgers, you gotta get by those guys, and that's gonna be very very tough. So I'm very excited to see this team play, and I'm very and I'm very excited to see Kevin Pilar play for the Mets and see how this team plays. So with that being said, congratulations to Kevin Pilar. Once if you have anything else to say, uh, congratulations to Kevin Pilar and the New York Mets.